This is the vegan anarchist. See my aloe vera? And in this video, it's gonna be about fuck the borders, fuck ICE, and fuck this U.S. government, and fuck the future Holocaust. Yeah, you heard me, Holocaust. Let me explain before you tune out some crazy nut job. A hey, by the way, that's an ableist in your thing. Anyways, and literally, I am nuts. Okay, just saying. Anyways, we have ICE agents going around, fucking profiling people, turning them into glorified concentration camps called Detention Center with notorious human rights abuses and not only that, but Trump is trying to cover it up. You have ICE oh, deporting girls who are in 10 year old girls in a fucking hospital. You have fucking ICE deporting people who are just wearing a courtroom for and we're testifying against her domestic abusers. You have all those cases where ICE profiles people who are brown. And yes, I am Latinx, but I'm for, I am white and I act as a white privilege. But not many white Latinx have that benefit that I do. And not only that, but motherfucking, we have a president whose first day of his campaign said, Mexico Mexicans, which are my people, because my people and my paternal side are Mexicans, rapists and murderers. He and his he he called countries in Central America shithole countries. By the way, they're shithole because we and we went over there and fucked up their countries and installed dictatorships and banana republics. But no, he wanted to, why don't we have more immigrants from here? Sweden and Norway, they're better work, hard workers, except that they work less and have shorter work weeks, but, you know. Oh, Mexicans are lazy. Oh, yeah, as someone who's motherfucking Mexican, I know firsthand, someone who grew up in a Mexican area, if the Mexicans stop working, motherfuckers, you would have nothing, almost barely shit in your groceries. Okay, so shut the fuck up. It's the working class who built this whole country. Black, white, Asian, Native American. Ah, we all built this. And yet those same powerful people who gave money to Republicans are trying to pit us against each other. My immigrants are taking our jobs, they say. No, that's not true. What's happening is... The rich fucks, rich capitalist, bougie motherfuckers find another group of people they could easily exploit and exploit the shit out of way harder. If anything, you and those people that are exploiting third world immigrants should be should be united because our solidarity is be stronger than borders. I live in a border town my whole life, grew up in the Rio Grande Valley, and I am fucking proud to be Tejana. But let me get this. I am doing this video because a wake-up call. If we don't stop demonizing immigrants, if we don't stop, if we stop, if we don't, if we don't call out people who be like, who grave stand and fucking Talk about, oh, this immigrant raped this woman and killed this woman. Even though immigrants are statistically less likely to commit crimes in general born population. This, even if we don't stand up to this kind of bigotry, this is how Holocaust starts. We are ready, and I'm not saying it's going to be Trump. It might be, but it, it may not be. It may be someone after Trump. Because... The economy, you know, the stock market isn't doing very good last time I checked. Sorry, Trump is. And, you know, fascism and bad economies tend to go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. They gotta quash the working class somehow. That's what fascism is for. Don't buy into this divisiveness. When we need to defend each other. 
An injury to one working class person is an injury to all. An injury to that 10 year old girl who got deported from the hospital is an injury to all of us. Okay? Period. The ICE is nothing more than modern day Descapo, and the government are just ISIS. They are just the same as ISIS. Their religion is not fundamentalist Islam. Their religion is fundamentalist status, capitalist, statism, and capitalism. Both party, or one party, the Republicans and their good for nothing Democrats who keep selling out the people they promised to protect over and over again and did that with the DACA people. They just did that when the government shut down. They sold out the dreamers. And motherfucker, even on my mom's side, there was my great great grandmother was a fucking dreamer. She came from Canada to the US when she was young, and her records got burned down, and she was adopted into a church because her family came. Her dad was an abusive Irishman, okay? And yes, dear, I was descended from stereotypical Irishmen, okay, motherfuckers? I'm also half Mexican. I just don't look like one, okay? But what the fuck does a Mexican look like? Me there are lots of Mexicans who are white, okay, motherfuckers? Shut up. Just go in Monterey. The point is... Fuck this borders. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck this white supremacy. We need to stand up. We need to arm the working class. We need to arm the immigrants and their communities and their neighbors. We need to arm the proletariat. We need to arm women. We need to arm queer people. We need to arm non-binary trans people. We need to arm them all. No one arm the cops. We need to stand up and we must resist ICE terrorism. Because if we don't, another Nazi Holocaust will happen. If we don't, because the Holocaust did not start with concentration camps in Auschwitz. It started with demonization, with scapegoating, the same shit that the Latino community, the black community, the fucking Muslims, etc., etc., are going to these days. And it's a tactic to divide the working class and remember, white people, when they're done with those brown people, they're going to come after you. And you're going to fucking have to work in a fucking sweatshop environment. And you're probably going to end up killing yourself fucking working for 12 cents an hour. Because that's how a lot of Nazis are. And they pretend to be socialists, but historically when fascists gain power, they're not. They're capitalists as fuck. And they will squash you, and you and and man, motherfucker, they're gonna come after you too. There's only one way out of this. We must resist and resist. This is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masters. Resist, for our solidarity is stronger than the borders. Our spirit is stronger than this. Then the capitalists and their armies magnify a thousand fold. As an old song said, would say, we have the power as working people that more power in our hands than the might of armies. That is why armies are historically have been made out of working class people because we are powerful. And when we use our power, we can destroy the chains that bind us and stop the next Holocaust. This is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masses. See ya.